gross misconduct against myself and Councillor Ruben Matengu. I, I can confirm that I and Ruben Matengu have received the determination of the independent tribunal. Yes, we have always insisted that the allegations against myself and other councillors were motivated by malice, bad faith, and were brazen and malicious attack on my character and, and the person it, it was not based on any facts, but was a result of rumor speculation, petty jealousness, political rivalry. The determination of the uh, independent tribunal evidently exposes the same. It clearly lays bare that I'm a victim of malice and political rivalry. The level of malice, political rivalry, hate and assault on my person and character was apparent from the biased manner of reporting in the media, the outcome of the investigation team, the allegations themselves that were eventually preferred against me, as well as the MDC party. Portrayed, they portrayed me as a thief, a greedy councillor, bent on looting and stealing public resources, yet nothing of that kind was close to the truth. The pressure was enormous to an extent that out of uh, the, uh, the many allegations I was facing, I was charged with two acts of, uh, of misconduct. After a lot was said, after a lot of allegations of the number of properties that one uh, that I uh, was alleged to have acquired, <coughs> uh, lastly, it was watered down to two acts of misconduct. That I had used my position as the deputy mayor and councillor to unprocedurally apply a stand in Ascot. The second one that I viewed, used my position as the deputy mayor and councillor to unprocedurally apply a lease for a stand 1879-64 Bulawayo Township on behalf of entertainment headquarters. The fact that the many of allegations I was facing were eventually watered down to two charges confirmed our long-held position that there were mere political persecution motivated by malice, vindictiveness, with no iota of truth. We did indicate from the onset when the dust started that our council is the best run and I'm the, a man of integrity and honest that all the transactions were done above board. This has been confirmed by the independent tri tribunal as it has cleared me of any wrongdoing in respect of the acquisition of Ascot State. The Ascot property was acquired procedurally and substantively above board. We have always said so as a party, I've always said so as an individual. The city of Ulawa has always said so. The independent tribunal have confirmed that position. I'm accordingly vindicated as I've always said the noise about acquisition of Ascot property was indeed motivated by political rivalry, malice and bad faith. As regards to the lease which I, I was elected to have acquired on behalf of entertainment headquarters, it is surprising the, the independent tribunal has found me guilty of misconduct in respect of this allegation. More surprising is the fact that the said application for the lease was denied by the city council. I've got a copy of denial from the city of Bulawayo on that said list, which I'll forward to, uh, to, to the journalist. Uh, that was done on the 14th of May 2014, as it is more, uh, uh, more fully appears on the attached data from the city of Bulawayo. There was never a lease for this particular property. It is apparent that the charge and the finding by the independent tribunal are offside. Indeed, we say this from the onset. We deliberately allowed the charge to stand to expose the malice and the vindictiveness that we have always insisted motivated the allegation. Again, we have been vindicated as the charge and the, uh, and the finding by the uh, independent tribunal is a key misdirection. In fact, we are happy as to demonstrate the level of desperation to help me out of my position as the councillor and the deputy mayor. It demonstrates the level of malice, vindictiveness that we have always complained of. Surely it is kindergarten politics to find someone guilty of acquiring a lease which is non-existent. 
the, 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 the ministry. Uh, after a public outcry sent, as we all know that they sent the, the investigating team, instead of the investigating team coming to do the proper investigation, because they, their intended uh, uh, result that they wanted, they came in and misdirected the, 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 the Honorable Minister, the Honorable Permanent Secretary, and even the Tribunal by quoting something that was non-existent. In, in, in respect of Ruben Matengu, there is no doubt that the sought authority and the same was granted by the, uh, that Mr. Matengu sought authority and was granted by the Council through the Director of Housing and Community Service to dispose his entitlement to the, uh, of a stand in terms of the ministerial directive. It's always, we always wonder as MDCT that on the other hand, the minister always comes to us and says we are, don't listen to the management when they are giving us advices. But one, when one takes the advice that is coming from the, 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 the directors, uh, the management, the council, you are also on the wrong side of the ministerial law. The transaction was above board and sanctioned by council. It is for that reason that the council never had issues with the transaction, as it is, was well aware that all was done above board. The determination again demonstrates the level of malice and vindictiveness that we have always complained about. Ultimately, justice shall take us and the truth shall set me free, as it is apparent that our hands and conscience are, 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 are clear. We are indeed the victim of politics, malice and vindictiveness. I must assure you that we find strength in such bare ruthlessness and callousness and we shall soldier on. Aluta Continua, I thank you all. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will give preference questions from the journalists, clarifications, questions, and comments. The, the, the public, you are here by observation. Yours is to pay attention and don't reflect, but let us water and see. Nimele studio seven, you go bulawayo, you moyo.